So I'm supposed to, I was supposed to have therapy at 11 today. And I had to reschedule because Nick wasn't going to be able to take off work. And my... I swear that's not hair. Flavored water stained my lips apparently. But, uh... Apparently, sorry, this is eating. Um... He couldn't, and then my uncle is really sick. Um, like in hospice, my mom's helping him, and my dad's working, so I had to reschedule. It's just really hard because anytime anybody else has an appointment, it's just like like Nick. Even Nick, Nick had a doctor's appointment Monday. He didn't have to worry about kids. He didn't have to worry about anything. He was just like, I have an appointment Monday, and then went. And like, it's not his fault, but it's like I understand people work, but it's like, what am I supposed to do? When, you know, it's like, and I know I chose to have kids, and it makes it more difficult, but it's like, he knows I'm sick too, and chose, like, we together chose to have kids, knowing that I would still have to go to appointments, so, I'm gonna talk later, because it's gonna be No way! No, no! I'm gonna talk now, because I took the to school. I can not get this flavored water off of my mouth. Anyways, just try to ignore that. Um, but it's just frustrating because it's like, I understand my mom because like my uncle's in hospice and like everything. But it's like, <laughs> even when, it's like, just, I don't know, it's like people try, like, act like they're trying, but it's like, I feel like they're not. Like my mom tries, and like my dad, I can't ask my dad to not work and like he doesn't have work on Thursdays, but I can't ask him to always watch my kids when he's not at work and it's like you know the same thing with like Nick Nick can't always miss work but it's like you know I can only make my appointments so late and like my mom used to make her own schedule but it's like even when she made her own schedule it was like I would tell her like in advance and like she wouldn't request off for that day or like request to be off early enough to take or like to watch my kids or ride with me or whatever and it's like now she doesn't make her own schedule so it's like just a toss up and like I don't know it's just frustrating because it's like yeah I chose to have kids which makes it more difficult but Nick chose to have the kids with me and like you know when I talked about having kids before like my mom like said she would help me and stuff and like she does and I'm not trying to say that like she never does and like I don't appreciate it because I do, I do. but sorry he keeps like unlatching for some reason but it's like, I don't know. It's just like, I feel like I have only like minimal support. It's like, I feel like once I got older, like my mom was my biggest advocate when I was younger. Like the only reason I got diagnosed is because a doctor, like a doctor, an ortho that my pediatrician sent me to said that it was all in my head. And my mom advocated for me and said, it is absolutely not in her head. This is crazy, you're crazy. Um, and that's how I got my diagnosis and like my mom took me to physical therapy I wouldn't have had my two my one shoulder surgery and my knee surgery if my mom wouldn't have advocated for me but it's like I feel like as I got older and like I understand like as I get older it is my responsibility it's not exactly hers but it's like I feel like when I got older my support kind of went down and it's like um my younger brother is just my younger brother but like I feel like even my brothers and everybody just like kind of ignores that like I'm chronically ill like my in-laws ignore that I'm chronically and it's like even Nick sometimes who you know sorry doctor who is you know the one who helps me the most and like is really great about it sometimes I feel like you know forgets and I have to remind him like no like I'm like I hurt I have issues my heart rate goes 140 like I don't know. It's just frustrating and it's upsetting because it's like I made that appointment today and I already and it's like I understand like I said like my mom but it's just hard now because I have to go to physical therapy now. My next genetics appointment with my new doctor isn't until June. Like I cannot wait that long. Like I can't. I don't know. So. I just don't know. Do I just feel like nobody really is? I don't know. Like the one person that I know would help me a lot would be my grandma. But she can't because she's too old. I don't know. So 
like I watch a lot of like chronically ill people's like vlogs and it seems like they have help and it's like even when I've seen chronically ill people with kids it seems like they have help and I don't know maybe I'm just gonna have to wait three years until all my kids are in school at least part-time dad's day slash special person's day in Lily's classroom and I don't think Nick's gonna be able to go so I'm going to pack up Luca and Leah and go he just told me he's gonna be able to go to dad today today so that's good because Leah is being crazy and taking her out really bad I had a pity party for myself earlier and I'm still annoyed and I'm still upset but it doesn't really matter to be upset, so. Leah <coughs> so ran outside by herself. We have a fenced in yard, so it's not like a huge deal, but I'm out here now. It's not that cold, it's like, I don't know, 50 or something. I don't know. It actually doesn't feel that bad. It might be more than that. I think it's supposed to be like 56 today. So that's probably like about what it is. So it's not bad. It's not really that windy. Don't fall. I'm ready for warmer weather. And I the they all home. They made dinner. It's almost bedtime. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.